俺たちはこの世に存在するべきではない愚かだな風間人Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Where's Moby here from the Independent View crew? Just giving you a little rundown of the tech and closed network stress test that was done um, a couple of weeks ago. So I have had the lucky opportunity to actually play this game and mess around with a few of the characters. And I just want to give you some of my thoughts and some of the impressions that I've had since I'm um, playing the game for a good couple of hours. But first, of all, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that. Has been subscribing, liking, and sharing the content of the channel. We are growing at a great pace, and just want to say thank you for the support. Hope you guys are enjoying the great new content which we are doing on the channel. Now, moving right into it, guys. The reason why I am done with Tekken 7, and from the get go, just watching the gameplay, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that for yourself. Tekken 8 is just totally amazing and very addictive like I was constantly learning things in every matchup that I played about the characters not only because it was new because I just enjoyed facing someone that was playing with him or someone that was facing, playing with Brian and watching them play or watching them do things just basically resulted in new forms of combat the creativity was Ridiculous. Let's just put it that way. I didn't mind losing to someone because it was just fun to experience the fight. And like I said, you are always learning something. So one of the big things with Tekken 8 is that the pace is so much faster than Tekken 7. That is something that just clearly stands out. And the theme around aggression and just this um, heat engaging um, module that they are now putting in place just makes the game so much more fun. Yes, there are issues and we're going to cover some of that as we go through the general discussion. But just to let you guys know that if you are a fan of fighting games, if you are a fan of Tekken 7, I would say that the move or the changes that they have done for Tekken 8, so far everything is moving in the right direction. So, getting started, the first thing I want to touch on for from what I've experienced so far is the graphics. Tekken 8 looks and feels amazing. The graphics, the interaction of the characters, I'm pretty sure you've seen numerous intros and just look at the way this game looks. I mean it is fantastic. Look, I mean you seeing this um, rage art that he's doing it, I, Gosh, guys, it is, it's just a thing of beauty. I mean, I actually don't mind seeing it as often as I do now compared to what you saw in Tekken 7. This just looks great. I mean, really amazing. So, yeah, totally enjoying the graphics of the game. And that is why it's so difficult to just switch on Tekken 7 and you're looking at this game, even though this it is eight, nine years old. You're sitting there playing it and you're like, why am I doing this to myself? So, yeah. Unfortunately, I think that is kind of one of the big reasons why I don't see myself actually moving back into Tekken, Tekken 7. Uh, just, uh, uh, it's, there's no need for you to do that yourself with the potential of the, knowing that such games exist. Next one, guys, is movement. So the big thing is that I just feel that this game, especially with side steps, um, feels much better. Yes, the back dash is not the greatest when, when playing the game in terms of movement, but overall sidestepping just feels way better compared to um, Tekken 7. And then just some of the adjustments they made with um, the low patties and the lack of um, knockdown combos that you enjoy from, you know, from basically knocking someone down and then them getting up, getting a combo on you is has been nullified. So it just makes it a bit more aggressive so that you can feel like hey i'm going to actually um attack this player instead of like not waiting for someone to get up and either hit you with a low or medium attack so totally enjoy the the, the changes that they've they have put in place and then guys i think um i don't want to make this video too long but one of the big things that i also touched on was um aggression right so this is a big step in the right direction for Tekken, right as you can see is the heat engager from King. 
this is what the focus of the game is. Um, I've played a lot of Tekken 7 and a lot of Tekken just in general. And the, I'd say the most that you get from it is that the game does become very defensive in terms of the way people play. Yes, I have seen um, people play defensively here in Tekken 8 as well, but it was actually to the detriment most of the time when I got them stepping back constantly trying to wait for me to attack them. I would be able to use that to my advantage and then gain, gain frame advantage and basically take them out, right? So totally enjoy the fact that they are pushing this in the right, in the right direction and it just makes the game so much more fun to watch and so much more fun to play, let's be honest. I mean, it looks fantastic, feels fantastic and just from a pure spectacle. It's, um, it looks gorgeous. Uh, I know some people were complaining about too much light and the amount of um, energy going around but overall I thoroughly enjoy it. I just I think there are some definitely some changes they can make. I think of in terms of just the, the general lighting around um, when you have your rage art, when you are in heat, there's, there's a lot happening on the screen all at once. So to, to put clear defined indicators of which of those or which state you're currently in um, would serve well than if they need to add a, a word or two on top to say that you know rage is available or your heat is um, almost up. It's just um, I think that there's things that they that they can work on to make to make it more accessible or more or bring it to life. Let's put it that way. Yeah, bring it to life in terms of what it is you are seeing on on the screen against the different um, I would say the different modes that you find yourself in. You find yourself in the rage mode. You find yourself in the heat mode. Just make that tad bit more clear because when it all starts to come together it gets rather messy because I really found myself forgetting to use my rage art um, once I saw my heat was down so yeah th that that type of stuff is, is something that they, they will work on I'm, I'm sure of it and then guys last not the least and this is probably one of the best parts of the game like I must admit this just made me so happy to see the way that they've done it is creating that unique play style for every character I just found it so refreshing and entertaining for a Tekken game. Going back to Tekken 7, um, Tekken 6, there was always the same set of I would say combos or combo starters that someone would, would would get into with every single character. You get the pop-up, maximize distance to get into the wall and then do max damage against the wall. Uh, and there was the set style of play and now with this um, Neat system that they've that they've put in place. Every character has this unique ability that just um, it just changes everything, right? And it's a it's a change for good. And that is is what I am I would say most happy about. So guys, that that that's the good stuff, right? So and trust me, it is a lot of good stuff. Um, the complaints are few and far between. Um, at the end, uh, my complaints is basically things that they know they need to work on and I'm pretty sure it will be done by the time the game is released and that is and saying that the things that I would say need to be worked on is damage scaling so right now some characters are just well, I think all characters really are super powerful right but you've got the likes of Brian you've got the likes of Paul um, Kazuya they are just um, power stealers also Claudio and Jun is just OP they are way too strong in this game. I think that they just have moves that can put you into a, a combo state um, quite easily in comparison to other characters. So those are the, that's that's kind of what I would think are some of the things they need to work on. And then the second, I think it's it's, it's, it's quite simple, but it's, it's balancing, right? You just need to, to find a tune to ensure that every character's heat has that same emphasis or. Um, allows that creativity or uniqueness for them because I feel some characters heats are just crazy good and then you get others which are it feels a bit lame like for me how Rang was I didn't see that much of a greatness when it came to him getting that heat, heat engager mode um, Paul also wasn't the greatest um, and I can see I think you can see that coming through by the amount of people actually using the characters like Jen was number one I use Jen he was fantastic um, and Brian was number five I think Brian was pretty cool but I, I always enjoy Brian's playstyle so yeah guys um, overall I am very impressed and very excited for what is to come with Tekken 8 um, 
hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you've enjoyed um, from the closed network test if you have had the chance to experience it and also what you didn't I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments below and guys if you do like the content let me know uh, we will be taking a break in this second because Mortal Kombat 1 is being released very soon and we will have the beta next week so you can expect a lot of Mortal Kombat content so guys besides that I'm going to leave you with the remainder of the fight with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll chat you soon. Catch you online, guys. Cheers. Round four. Fight! Yeah.